In late May, I was looking on the internet and found a protest Antifa was putting together, calling for the removal of the Sam Houston statue. And the first thought that went to my mind was, why Sam Houston? The two event pages on Facebook got bigger and bigger. The more I began to look at it, the more I began to realize that there was a, a scam going on. And when they finally hit the point that there was two or three thousand people going to be at this event, and this many people with this many opinions, called my crew together and we went down to see it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is June 10th, 2017. We are just uh, about half a mile from the uh, Sam Houston statue, and we've got no idea what we're going to run across today. It's all kind of rumors, all kinds of crazy stuff, so let's go down here and see if any of the bullshit is true. I'm grabbing my flag. I'm grabbing my flag. So the first thing we saw when we walked up was a group of people with Confederate flags. It looked like about 14 people. There were already about 600 regular protesters there that were open carry patriots. The Confederate people were being forced out. One of the most obvious things that we noticed was there was there was a core of about 500 of the patriots of the This Is Texas, part of the three percenters, that were highly organized. Security team or medic team. We're gonna be meeting shortly. I'm just waiting for some more leads to show up. Anybody have any questions? The organizers are told the Confederate flags to go away because this is about Sam Houston. This is not about the Confederacy and certainly isn't about racism. After we walked through the crowd of the protesters and got a good idea of who was there, Kurtz and I finally decided to go across the police line over to the small group of people with the Confederate flags and try to get some interviews. It was an eye-opening experience listening to what these people had to say. You, you, don't, you don't discriminate us and then call for us to help you. And whenever the shit does hit the fan and this whole country is in turmoil, they're going to be glad to see the people flying these flags. They're going to be looking for people flying our flags. Tell me about 1925, Washington, D.C. The Triple K, you know, flew the American flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the KKK. There, there's We're more hate attached to the general. American flag than there ever will be a Confederate uh, flag. Now, I don't know who's done it, but... But I tell people, dude, I'm 100% red-blooded American, okay, but my blood comes from a Confederate heart, okay? Here we are with all of our Confederate flags and the American flags. In my opinion, I, I, I can't tell people what to do, but in my opinion, I wouldn't bring the American flag to a Confederate flag rally. That's like bringing the murderer to his victim's funeral. That's why I'm here, because number one, I want to make a stand, you know, for my country, for Texas, for our history, and send a clear message to everyone and to the governor. We want you to protect our monuments, we want you to protect our history, and to Antifa, we are not going to allow you to do this stupid stuff that you do in Berkeley, because this is Texas, this is not California. But this is the country I know, and I love this nation. So when I, when Donald Trump became president, and I saw everything that was happening, I was like, hell no. There's no way I'm going to be silent. There's no way I'm not going to, I'm just going to sit here and watch these people, you know, try to take away our nation. You know, because our nation, it's the, you already know this, it's the most beautiful nation in the world. So that's why I'm here, because I want to fight for my nation, and obviously because of Sam Houston, this is what we're doing now, you know, that we have on FIFA all over the place trying to silence us, you know, beating people up, and they think that they can come to Texas and do the same thing, it's not going to happen. And when they come in, they start taking our names off of our schools. That's number one. Number two, they come in, and then they start wanting to take our monuments down. Number three, they want us to start coming in and start changing the names of our cities. History is something that we're to learn from, something to embrace and then make good positive changes going forward. I'm the guy that led the uh, uh, charge on a target with their bathroom policy. So we started the first national demonstration right here in Houston. And so Target loses $1 billion every seven days. Uh, I'm the guy that also put to the referendum that allowed everybody in the city of Houston, Clear Lake, and Kingwood <laughs> to be able to vote no on the bathroom ordinance when Mayor Neese Parker was trying to have men come into our showers. After about an hour and a half, two hours of standing around, getting to know people, shaking hands, a small group of people came marching up from the south. We began to see the, the flags, the symbols, and what was written on their shirts, and it was more and more apparent that these guys were not part of us either. No more hate! No more hate! No more hate! No more hate! Better 
history and all the monuments they've taken down. That's what they can get now. It's very obvious they're moving on to non Confederate statues, but they've found the Confederate figures and monuments. And it's only going to continue. And once they're finally done with bronze and metal, they're going to come to the flesh. They're going to come to people. Because it's not the statues they hate, it's not the flags, it's not the cloth and the poles. It's the people, and it's the history, and it's the identity. It's all about creating community, and that's the first step towards taking back power and taking back, you know, control of the political paradigm which has been completely removed from the hands of white America. 15, maybe 20 minutes after the white separatist vanguard movement was ejected from the protest and told to go stand with the Confederate flags, this happened. What about the memes? No blood for Israel. Look, what about the memes? No blood for Israel. What's the problem here? Look, are these signs not okay? What's wrong with these signs? Dude, no, it's because of her. She keeps following me and telling people that I'm, um, like, I don't know what you're I didn't tell you to get You're an agitator. I told you to get the fuck out. These are good memes. Dude, this is not Comic Con. I know. What is it? I thought it was just gonna make friends, and you got this guy wants to fight. Look at him. Let's go. Now, right now, we get the cops. Right now, we get the cops. Pick up your shit. Go. Right now. Right now. By now, I mean right now. Guys, you gotta go, man. You don't. Son. You're, you're leaving here one way or another. Right now, how do you know? Hey, we can help you. Hey, we can help you. Let's go. 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 Let's With this kid? Yeah. Um, well, in plain English, we had a jackass start acting like one, and we removed him. How many uh, white supremacists actually showed up uh, today? 35. Uh, about 35. Out of how many, uh, how many patriots? Oh, I don't know. I'd say, what do you think, all the thousands? Yeah, 1,000, 1,500, maybe more. There's, there's a, as always, there's a lot of good folks and a few idiots. Were you saying that that was you? No, I was walking with him, telling him here why the state, why we're here, which is for the statue. He was out here for all the white ring politics. Right. He was the rich part. I want to listen. Yeah. If I, can get, if I can get the first air cab, I'll be looking to talk with you. Um, I've known this man for a long time. He's not a liar. He's not a bullshit. He's But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'm telling you. I hear one more thing. I was, not going to be any discussion. I'm yeah. just going to get you and walk you to the gate. I'm going to go ahead and get out anyways, but I wasn't with that dude. I wasn't tough. Yeah. Well, um, I do not want to call a man a liar unless I know for sure that he is. And I don't know for I'm sure not that calling you are. him a liar. Everybody saying, could be mistaken, and I understand that. Yeah. I'm just I'm telling you. If you I'm stick not, around here and there's any more shit, you're gone. I'm not, I'm not accused. We met up with the guys coming out of Dallas. We all joined together. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't. We we never discriminate against anybody. We're all brotherhood and sisterhood. We stick together. We ride together, and we support the state of Texas. This is about Texas and, and, and Texas freedoms here.
Well, folks, Matt Ivan here. Well, you showed up at 7, uh, what, 7.45. We've been here uh, all morning. It is now right at 2 o'clock, and uh, we've seen, seen about 2,500 Texas Patriots that were here to stand up for the Sam Houston statue. Uh, we had a handful of people show up with Confederate flags, and the uh, rally organizers told them to you know, move along. And so we've got, if you pan over here, you can see we've got a small group here of uh, maybe about 15. And then uh, we had a, a, a smaller group of white supremacists that showed up, and we told them to go down the road as well. Uh, behind me, 2,500 patriots. And right here is the only sign of Antifa we found all day long. Yeah, of course. The Dallas, Houston, and Texas branches of Antifa would not respond to numerous requests. We made phone calls. We tried to get with them on social media. The only response we got was one Facebook message that says, we don't talk to the fascist media. First time around, we noticed y'all open carrying. Figured y'all How's it going? Put on the hot dogs on yet, man. You guys shoot the fucking hot dogs, man? What kind of hot dogs? How many since now for you? But we got hot dogs. What's with the gun? I thought y'all was open carrying. Yeah, we are. I'm here back out. What's up? All right, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, so why are you recording? Because public property, man. Well, no, no, like why are you recording? Stop because we're open carriers. We got to record everything. If the cops show up, that's the question. That's public property, man. The cops show up. Like, do you fucking just go recording around? Like that? Who the fuck no? Yeah. Why are you recording? Like, what fucking group are you with? Doesn't. I'm not like, trying to be group. like bossy and shit, and like coming out here and doing this shit. Like, like, what, like, what, what, the like fuck? really, what do right wingers get out of this shit? Like, what do you get out of this? We're not right wingers. Oh, what are you? I didn't vote. You're nothing. Yeah, you're right. 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 Yeah, you're so why, yeah, why, why, why can't you just? I, I, I saw some people walking down the street, so I got my gun up over to them, and I just like was filming that's, the whole time. I genuinely, like, we're not I genuinely, what's going on. I genuinely want to know what's going on. Like, what, what's what? what so why the fuck they come back for the gun? Because you didn't see the fucking guns. Yeah, why did you come back? We only had. No, no, like you coming out here with guns because you want to fight some shit. It's being antagonistic. You know it is. Like, don't be a fucking dumbass about it. Yeah, don't be a fucking dumbass. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at Alex Jones. You're just being dishonest. Oh, man, That's all you're doing. You're, you're a liar. No, I mean, like, I mean, what's your point? Like, 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 what's your point? Where's we going, Waste Trader? You can tell it. Pants off, dance off. Come on. What makes him a race trader? We know who you guys are. Who are we? What don't you like? What is your struggle in life, white man? My struggle in life, white man. People think I'm white. You see, what actually happened is I'm a Slavic. Oh, you see, I'm the lightest oh, yeah. Slavic you've ever seen. So, I was on your license, dude. Is it say Slavic on there? <laughs> when the cops pull you over, to, oh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Slav. You're, you're, you're Slav. Yeah. What nationality are you, Mr. Slav? Uh, Northern Roma Slav, Romanian. The most oppressed you speak Romanian. So how, how does it feel? That no, you have you ever been, been to Romania? Romania? Like second generation. Okay, so then, you, so then you're not really. Uh, no. you're so then you're not really Romanian. Slav. You don't have the cultural ties. You're fucking yeah. white yeah. American. Yeah, you don't have the cultural ties, so you can't really like stand here so playing we're, the guitar. We're, we're peacefully standing here too, man. No, you're peacefully antagonizing. No, we're not. We're, 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 we're not antagonizing anybody. You don't really have anything to do with your fucking time. Get your shit out. Yeah, that is. Don't touch the flag. He's not touching. You don't touch the flag. You're putting your property in my face, though. Apologize to the now. Apologize to the now. Panic. A joke. Seriously. Nah. I'm a joke. Yes. I'm a joke. Why am I a joke? Because you have nothing better to do with your fucking life. He's not that funny, though. 
Clearly. Like, what kind of joke is it? Just his face. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. You're get a fucking life. Get a fucking life. Oh, get the recreational news. Pathetic scrubs. Straight up. I'm genuinely asking a question. Did anybody here union I worker? They say that. I'm ATU 11:38. Anybody here? That was a union worker. Seriously, ATU 11:38. I'm a union worker. Nobody a union worker here? What the fuck makes you think we're gonna ask, answer a question like that? No, I'm. Like, have, have we given a vibe of like, oh yeah, we tell you where the fuck I work? No, no. <laughs> If you were smart though, like you would have made those questions without fucking guns. Like when you cut walk fucking like walk past us back. without a fucking gun, so now we maybe you could have like, made some questions shit. like that. But the moment you dude. fucking come in here trying you know, to make fucking gun and shit, we're not gonna answer any stupid fucking questions. So it's not gun yet, probably. Yeah, point it this way. What's up? I said, yeah, point it this way. Give him no. a break. You're pointing, you're doing what I'm saying. I wanted you to point it this way. And if I got behind your fat ass, you turn around. Why don't you and I just throw hands? Why don't you put that shit out? Why don't you put it down? Put it down. You and I throw hands. Well, We're about the same size. Come on. You want some pussy shit? Tigers, real tigers? Is that right? But in the end, they throw hands into paper tigers. tigers. Dead tigers. Pinche culo, tigers. Way. Eso eres, güey. Eres un puto culo, güey. ¿Qué entiendes, pendejo? Si no entiendes, güey. Puñetas, güey. Eres un puto culo. Muy verga con la pistola, puto. Con la pistola, güey, eres culo. Iron tigers, real tigers, which can devour the people. On this, we should build our tactical thinking. Tiger attack. Tiger attack. People of the world, unite and defeat the U.S. aggressors and all their running dogs. People of the world, be courageous. Dare to fight, defy difficulties and advance wave upon wave. Then the whole world will belong to the people. Monsters of all kinds shall be destroyed. A little end note for you. They were reading from Chairman Mao's Little Red Book. Chairman Mao was the communist leader of China in the 50s and 60s. And he was responsible for a hundred million people being killed in the Great Leap Forward in just a three-year period. This man made Adolf Hitler and Stalin both look like Boy Scouts. <laughs>